So, the last video that I make today. I will not put them on uh, YouTube all at once, but this is the last one I make today. And this is from uh, the stand uh, Avalanche Contact Audio uh, from Austria. Um, when I was on the fair a year ago, I was searching for Muslim gauze. And at one stand I found a Muslim Gauss album, I bought it, Faruk Engineering. And last year I went, in October, November I went there again, I bought a lot of coil stuff. And now I went again to the, to the stand and I bought some other nice things. The first thing I bought was this Muslim Gauss Uzi album. This is the front of the cover, not that inspiring. It's the back side with the tracks. So you see here it's on um, everlandmusic.com. I will leave a link uh, down below. All tracks written and played by Muslim Gauze. This is, uh, I don't know when it's made. Maybe it's on the, I think there's an inner here. Let's see. That's some more information. Poster. Not that. I don't know how to show it to you. It's not that. Certain for me how it's going to be. I thought I was more. Uh, well, maybe have uh, to have some information here about this album let's see muslim goes Uzi. uzi it says all track played original release in 1989 through parrot amorous this is 2022 20, limited edition repress of 500 copies on black vinyl with fold out poster insert and uh, I read somewhere that they didn't understand what was in the box set, the CD box set I uh, have shown you on the side. And he said, if you just want, you have a complete tit the Muslim gauze, maybe from that period. Another album I bought is this coil, the new backwards. Um, if you're, uh, you watch my channel regularly, I, you know that I have bought the three uh, limited edition picture disc. I was in doubt because the picture discs don't sound very good so I thought this is on black vinyl and uh, maybe the sound is better so I bought this one. It's the label coil the new backwards. As uh, said often and uh, more and more into coil this is a recorded Swan Yacht in London and a special thanks to Trans Raisiner who made it all possible and Trans Raisiner is from Nine Inch Nails I don't know if he has more bands but and you hear, listen, you hear a little bit of Nine Inch Nails in this album I think so cool next one I bought also the, the man from the, from the I don't know if the man was from the label himself he um, he had some, some tips for me, so uh, I bought some more stuff than I at first thought. This is Eden's Island by Eden Abbas Abbas. A little bit of a hippie record, a hippie man. He was 54 years old when he made this album, if I'm correct. So it's uh, this one and only regular album with some extra tracks. Story of a Wanderer with a nice booklet. Eden Island was a lone solo album released by composer Eden Abbas and he died from 1908 to 1995. He was, when I read something about he was called the first hippie. Lyrics.
didn't put it in other sleeves as you see I have to do it yeah it looks a bit like Jesus if I uh, may say now I have to put it out the labels side A side B nice music listen to it digitally let's leave it out in our inner sleeve directly sorry damage the records very thick package of all kinds of stuff that's in here yes I was saying try it maybe you like it so even Abbas We have some interesting stuff. No. Nature Boy. Also from the label Everland Contact Audio. Another album. Niagara. Um, I did see it once and maybe on the channel uh, from the Norway Norwegian guy. Don't know his name now. As a crowd rock album. I thought in the crowd rock. Why is it called crowd rock? Of course, yes, a very a nice cover, you may say so. And this is, uh, I listened to uh, San Gandongo and Whoa. It uh, blew me away, it's, it's a bit uh, overdreven in Dutch. But um, Klaus Weiss on drums, Klotsch Blackman, Conga, Keith Forsey, drum cymbals, Juan Romero, Cowbell, Udo Lindenberg, for me very known, the German guy, drums. Danny Fischler, also very well known, conga. George Green, drums. So you you see all, all the instruments are drums. And maybe that's why it's called Niagara, a little bit South African, African kind of music. But this is very, very nice. Check it out. Uh, it's, it's funky, it's um, swinging, it's... Yeah, if, you, if you're into... Uh, Percussion drums, you have to listen to it. This is something very nice. Um, Niagara made three albums, I think, and it was possible to, to purchase all three, but yes, when you're there, and I already bought a lot of stuff, I thought, now let's go for this one that I have seen on the internet before. Next one, yeah, how do I come to this one? I was uh, on search of Funkadelic Records. Uh, this he said, hypnotic grooves and ecstatic moves. We'll come to that later. But he said this is really funky, and yes, it is jazz rock. This find is from Yugoslavia. At that time, Jovan Mal Djokovic, the uplifting abyss. He's a saxophone player, and if you like funky jazz rock, listen to this one. Track one. Whoa. It's uh, very, very nice. I think he has more recent uh, albums. This one is recorded in uh, Radio Belgrade, uh, 75, 76. So we uh, said, try this one. You don't get uh, any, any uh, regrets. And he was right. Very nice. This is the label. Um, you for 2021. I don't know if this is the original label or something like that. Of this is the first press on vinyl. I don't know. Just rock at its finest. Uh, funky, funky music. Yeah, I like it. So I had a lot of blind, blind buys and liked it very much. Afro Magic. The guy I spoke to, he said I compiled this album. He used it a lot of in, in on the dance floor. He put some from this tracks. So the best things he liked, but he put it on this album. Deep dance floor jams of African disco, funk, boogie, reggae, and proto house music. 1976, 1981, and it grooves. It doesn't groove as much as the uh, previous album, but it's nice, relaxing, enjoying music. Get a good mood from it. Not as funky as I wanted, but still a very nice album. 
Yeah. The next one. Dome of Yugoslavian and why Yugoslavian uh, had some family living there. And Yugoslavian, it's now called uh, Slovenia. And um, I had some albums from Yugo Tone, uh, Rolling Stones and Supertramp. So I bought some records there. And uh, the prog rock era, uh, prog rock, yeah, it, it rings a bell by me. This is um, the label Everland, Neverland. Everland, it says. Neverland is, of course, Peter Pan, but Everland, the label. At first I didn't like it that much, but I'm listening for the second time. Yes, some nice doors. Um, synthesizer. Um, uh, some guitar working. These are unreleased radio recordings. If you're in the Prague rock, it's not English, it's Yugoslavian, so it's a little bit um, something else than normal, but nice. Prog rock on the Yugoslavian, Yugoslavian way. Marin Skrigatic. So I'm coming to the last album, and this is from Rapoon. It's a wooden box, Raising Earthly Spirits. So I choose to buy this one in the box. Rapoon, yeah, the man who makes this music was a member and one of the founding members of Soviet France. So I was interested, interested to uh, Robin Story is his name, um, how, how this sounds. And I must say, um, I must get used to this one. Listen to it once, so it doesn't ring a bell yet for me. Here are the tracks. Another print in the sleeve. Akura and Jura Snake Dream, 1993. Original release. Let's see if that's correct. Didn't I see this word release on internet? I didn't see this release on internet yet. For the final, labels. So if you're into vinyl and um, you don't think a fair is something for you, yeah, maybe uh, you should go once to Den Bosch. I'm living very, very nearby, 20-25 kilometers, so for me it's easy to go. I uh, saw uh, 45 RPM uh, Michael saw there with his 5-6 uh, friend with Stunty, Rock Confusion also there. I didn't speak to them, I didn't dare to approach them. But uh, it's very nice. You can you can buy extraordinary, uh, expensive albums, and you see. So this one is, I think, 39 euros. You can buy cheap records. You can buy new records, old records. For everyone, there's something there, and it's it's. I think it's handy to to pick some uh, dealers and go there and search good and talk to them and get a bond with them, and it's it's very nice from this fair. So. You see, I have a, bought a lot of a lot of records. Um, I'm not a millionaire, but most of the albums were very cheap. I like it very. I like it a lot. The, the stuff I bought. Uh, now I have to. I have made myself a deal to, to not buy that much, but I already ordered the new asset shop machine on the Tone Float records, so I'm expecting that and expecting the Otaker box set from Vinyl on Demand, and then I have to go. Uh, by nothing, I hope. So I uh, hope you get enjoyed my videos, hope you get through them. If you like my channel, it's nice for me to have maybe 250 at the end of the year, but it doesn't matter really. I like doing it.
and I hope you watch you like watching them. See you till the next time. Enjoy your music. Bye bye.